Hello, I want to share with you on insulin growth factor one, how it works and its benefits, and how it is related to human growth hormone. Human growth hormone, which is in its abbreviated form known as HGH, is released by the pituitary gland and only stays in the blood for a few minutes at the most and then is taken up into the liver. In the liver, the human growth hormone goes through a process that results in the production of insulin growth factor 1, also more commonly known as IGF-1. Insulin growth factor 1 then is released throughout every cell in the body and basically attaches to the receptors of all cells in the body and sends a message to the inside of those cells or a signal telling the cell to repair itself. This is why insulin growth factor 1 is such a powerful age reversing product. Basically, when people take human growth hormone, how they measure the effectiveness of human growth hormone is by measuring the increase of insulin growth factor 1 in the body. I know that homeopathic HGH and the product that I have on my website at hghblend.com has had double-blind place both studies on the basic HGH product that clarify and verify that this product increases insulin growth factor 1 by between 160 and 161 percent. And I found that is true with a good number of other homeopathic HGH products. But let's focus on insulin growth factor 1. Insulin growth factor 1 has been found when taken on its own independently, to be even ten times more powerful than taking human growth hormone. There has also been very significant benefits in many other areas. I should add that though it has been used independently, I don't mean by that that you don't take human growth hormone with insulin growth factor 1, because all the people including the athletes that use it, have found that when you take human growth hormone and insulin growth factor 1 together, you get far greater results. This is because there is a lag time between human growth hormone and insulin growth factor 1, and they are dependent on one another. Insulin growth factor 1, I believe, is the one that releases and ha has its effect mostly during the day, whereas human growth hormone has its effect mostly during the night. And when they're taken both together, they work synergistically. However, there have been amazing results with insulin growth factor 1. There was a team of scientists in New Zealand that used insulin growth factor 1 on the brains, the fetal brains, of lambs whose brains were injured. Now usually when there's brain injury, in fact not usually always, there is cell death that takes place for a period of three hours called apoptosis. But when they used insulin growth factor 1, they discovered that this was stopped. They also found it had tremendous benefits to many other aspects of the brain, not only in this clinical trial, but other ones. They found that it stopped significantly the aging of the brain. They found that it was very beneficial to people that had conditions such as Parkinson's. And the list goes on. They found that almost in every area of the brain there was significant benefit by using insulin growth factor 1. What is even more amazing is that they found that they could join severed nerves by using insulin growth factor 1 
It was amazing, but they were able to grow a severed nerve by 6 mm or 6 millimeters using insulin growth factor 1. There are many athletes that, athletes that use insulin growth factor 1 because it has been shown to cause muscle magnification of up to 20%. And it has been touted by some of the big muscle magazines as well. So it has many multifaceted benefits. And of course, if you just take human growth hormone, you're still going to significantly increase insulin growth factor 1. This doesn't happen overnight. And it's, of course, good to do things more naturally. When you take human growth hormone, because of the increase in insulin growth factor 1, all of your, the organs in your body, if you're from age, your mid-30s and on, all of the organs grow back towards the size of when you are more youthful and with better function. You see, as we age, everything shrinks. All our organs, that's the brain, the skin, the heart, the lungs, you name it. Even the bones benefit from taking human growth hormone and in particular insulin growth factor 1. But that is when you keep those levels up high for a period of a year that you begin to get the results with it on the bone. I think that's all I need to share on this particular topic. Hopefully this has been helpful and check out the link that's on this video that will take you to a far more detailed article on the benefits and understanding of insulin growth factor 1 in relation to human growth hormone. Thank you for listening.